uh, the ratified trial was a quite an experience. So see, it's a, uh, a trial that has led to the approval, FDA and EMA approval of a new drug. You see, one of the rare new drugs approved for AML. Uh, it's uh, so-called midostorin. Midostorin is a so-called tyrosine kinase inhibitor, taking advantage of uh, the fact that leukemic cells have ge the genetic changes that allow them to grow faster than normal cells, and midostorin now blocks this activation process. And uh, the experience, the wonderful experience, was that it was a transatlantic cooperation. You see, it's a together with the North Americans. It was a slowly accruing trial over years, and so the, the colleagues from North America, whom we know, of course, uh, have known for years, then discovered that in Europe there are very well-organized trial groups with many patients and, and who are the, the colleagues highly qualified to enter patients into trials, and so it's a, uh, it was a common effort, you see, not only in North America, in Europe, but also Australia, you see, it's really, and uh, uh, it still is going on, you see, the data are published, the, date, uh, the drug is approved, but now we still have many, many data left, you see, so we do a lot of data mining to uh, find even more indicators of response and, and ways maybe to improve the results by adding uh, other drugs in the future to find out why some patients did not respond despite we expected them to respond and the other way around. You see, I think by these examples patients should have responded but has not, you see. Quite often if you find the reason it gives you, imme immediately gives you another uh, yeah, approach, offers you another approach to, to, to uh, kill these highly benignant cells.